Today's best practices for cryopreservation of samples are the result of decades of trial and error. Since early false beliefs that all cells could be preserved using the same methods, we've learned the key to successful cryo storage, matching the composition of your sample to the optimal cooling speed. Freeze too slow and cell injury results. Freeze too fast and the formation of intracellular ice can devastate your cell culture's viability. Cooling rates will vary dramatically between sample types, for example, red blood cells and human embryonic stem cells. Researchers may use one of several methods to cool cells, including the classic step-down method, or direct plunge freezing, or blast freezing, which is really designed for working with blood bags and other high volumes of protein. These methods, while they have their uses, are not without risk, often optimized for speed rather than cell viability. But controlled rate freezing through a mechanical programmable freezer has many applications in cell culture work, including biobanking, IVF, and core blood research. It also creates the paper trail for clinical labs concerned with accreditation compliance.